And you pastors of you churches, you are called, you are given the job I'm given. God sent me to, to tell you what, what the truth. God sent me to set you to help set your ministries in order. The money you're all rejecting, but I tell you what, the humbling is coming. Thus saith the Lord. Brother Man said to two disbelieve, disbelieve me. The man will be all right. I'm a man, he says. But to disbelieve his word, it will be sin. Brother Man said to doubt this written word will be sin, and to doubt his spoken word will be sin. So to doubt, to doubt the written word, but then when it's spoken, it's sin. Because now you're just speaking the very word that's written. Brother Ram says, God keeps his word. 1957. God, don't, he says here, don't, not God, I'm sorry, don't never accept anything unless it comes out of the Bible. Oh, unless it comes out of click play on the tapes. See how subtle the devil works? Well, he spoke the word. He preached the word. Sure he did. That was his job to point us back to the word. But the word says, the word says, stay with the word. The word says the Bible is the absolute. The word, the, the word says that we prove all things hold fast that which is good. This is the blueprint, brother Bam said. Let it, let it, let it set in order and in the Bible. God keeps His word from the same message. He said, "So I believe the Bible infallibly. I believe it's the infallible word of God. There's no more to be added to it or anything to be taken away from it." I believe that it's God's blueprint to his church. He says, we builders have made a mess out of it. I'll admit that. But it has nothing to do with the blueprint. It still remains just the same. And it's God's Bible. God is in his word and God is responsible to his word. Amen. Brother Branham says, no man in the mess of intervail. No man will ever, will ever, will ever reach the plane that Jesus stood on. Let that sink in. But somehow in this message, in his own, his own son, the deity doctrine, that subtly has slipped in, that, that puts Brother Branham on some kind of same level plane as Jesus Christ, the wordy man. Oh, God, judge it in the name of the Lord. Brother Branham said the same message, God's provided a way of, or so this is another one, God's provided a way of healing. Now, there may, there may be times, he says here, that I may not be able to set it together. He said, he said I, I may not be able to set it together. I don't believe there's any more in the world can correct can correctly set every word together. But we can only, as the Holy Spirit inspires us to do so, many times it's contrary to our teaching. So when the Holy Spirit shows up, then it goes against our teaching. It goes against the, the flow of the Spirit that's on the message of the hour. When the Holy Ghost shows up at night in 2020, Jesus Christ coming through a camel lens. And this morning I saw a vision. And the vision was very simple. I see the face of Jesus Christ looking at me face to face. Looking at me right in my face. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ coming through this camera lens. Amen. This is his ministry. This is his work. Amen. And he's judging all of you pastors and leaders of men. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because when you, 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 the spirit of this message is going one direction, but God is crying out another. I do this ministry, man. Oh, the humbling is coming. Oh, it's coming. The hour is upon the land. Hallelujah. Oh, you're here, Lord. That weakness starts that I feel like the virtue just pulls right out of my spirit, out of my physical body. Oh, Lord Jesus, have mercy. Brother Bam says, think on him. Read the Bible. The Holy Spirit lives on the Word of God. Oh, oh, oh hallelujah. Amen. That's from the message and foul and proof of resurrection. Oh, amen. He said, Brother Bam said, the message intervail. People just don't read the Bible in the light that it's wrote in. That's all. Just read what, what they think. That's the way they get all these, these, these here ideas and denominations and everything. Uh-huh. Oh, Lord. I'm going to finish up here. All right, folks. I got, I got, I mean, folks, I, I just read a few and I got, 
I mean, just more quotes and quotes and quotes. And this thing, look at that, they're getting paid. See that burn? This thing survived the house fire. Had a house fire in 1998. God bless this little quote book, survived right through it. Literally more quotes lying on the ground. Folks, I could be reading quotes of the rapture. They said God uses, I'm here, I'm using the very message that these so called false leaders of men say they, say they follow and believe in. But yet they, they, they're, they're caught up in the spirit. They're caught up in the spirit of the message that we got to continue to talk about William Brown. We got to have his pictures plastered everywhere. And we're so proud we're connected to William Brown. They're caught up in that spirit. And God is against it, brothers and sisters. This is the hour of Jesus Christ. Amen? It's a rapture bride to meet him in the air, amen? Not no preachers, no teachers, nothing, folks. And the true fivefold ministry is speaking that same message, pointing the people to Jesus Christ, the word, amen? But you know what you pastors keep doing? You ain't taking your picture down of Brother Random yet, are you? But oh, hum, it's coming. Mark it down, it's coming. And it's, it's going to strike the land. And the fear of God is going to strike in the hearts of the people. And they'll realize that God raised up this man's ministry and this man's life as a prophet, amen, to defend him. Jesus Christ, the word, amen, and nothing else, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God.